Hey everybody, this is Clint, and I'm screencast to show you how to use Kazina. I hope I'm not butchering the name. It might be Kazina, Kazina or Kazina. Um, <clears throat> but this is a way for you to be able to leave audio uh, feedback within Google Documents. So this is an add-on. So to get it, go to add-ons, and then when you click on get add-ons, and it might show up like for here, it showed up right here. Um, or you can just type in Kazina right up here. So I'm just going to click here. And where it says free, I'm just going to do that. And then click accept. Your students right now will have to do the same thing. So what that will do is that will put that now in your add-on. So you have it for forever. If you try this out and you say, hey, this is not something that I really want, then you can always go to manage add-ons. And then from here, you can click on manage and then have it uh, deleted. But I'm not going to delete it because I think it's awesome. All right, so like I said, this is a way for you to leave audio feedback on a student's document. A student can also send you audio feedback on the same document. So to access it, again, I'm just going to go to add-ons and Kazina Mini and click on Open Kazina Mini. If this is the first time that you're using this, when you open it, it might say something like it needs to install an extension or something, and that would hear it right there. All right, so for this document, so since I'm the teacher, I'm gonna say, I'm giving feedback. And then who's receiving? So it's gonna show you everybody who shared on this document right here. So I want to share this with Oh, my partner in crime, Steve Piazza. So I'm going to say, hey, he can you see this. So then I'm just going to click on continue. And then all I'm going to do is highlight the part of the words or whatever where I want to leave audio feedback. So I'm going to leave it on this section right here. Click on new feedback. When I do that, this pops up here. So you have several different options here. Um, you can leave voice feedback. Um, which is, if we're thinking about our common commitments, this is like the uh, one I think aligns closely with because you're giving real and meaningful feedback. And I like the idea of leaving audio feedback so your students can go back and listen to you again if they need to. I can also leave text feedback, or if there's a link or a resource I want to leave on this, I can click on that to leave that. All right, so I'm going to leave audio feedback. So all I do is click on there click on start recording allow my microphone and now right now I am just leaving audio feedback hey this is a great idea to give an introduction introductions are important blah 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 stop so now the kid to get this the kid would have to go on to add-ons cuz in a mini open it and then from there they'll see the feedback and you can hear it here and now, right now, I am just leaving audio feedback. Hey. All right. So, in a nutshell, that's Kazina Mini. So, if a student opens up, they can see the feedback and they can respond to the audio feedback if they would like to. Thanks for watching.